New details here tonight about the victim and the suspect in last week's attack on a man outside his home in Rockland County. The victim's injuries far more serious than first known. And tonight, the family of the suspect is speaking out through an attorney about his struggle with mental illness. Only CBS 2's Tony Aiello has this story. He was a top student athlete at Spring Valley High School in 2018, who went on to play football at Western Connecticut State University before leaving school in 2020. Now, 23-year-old Elijah Dean is charged with attempted murder, accused of viciously stabbing a man in the driveway of a new city home. The family, is their heart goes out to the victim in this matter. Defense attorney Yvonne Garbett says this is a tragic set of circumstances. The April 11th stabbing attack on Trailside Place nearly claimed the life of an Orthodox Jewish man. Prosecutors say he's still hospitalized, facing additional surgery, and may never fully recover. Dean lived a half mile away. The felony complaint says he approached the victim and attacked without provocation, stabbing him in the abdomen, head, neck, and arm. In court Tuesday, the defense said Dean struggles with mental illness. Getting him treatment and keeping him uh, compliant with his medication and treatment has been an issue. Anyone who knows him is in shock that he is charged with these um, offenses. Garbett will request a mental health evaluation to see if Dean is fit to stand trial. Dean currently faces unrelated misdemeanor charges in Orange County that include endangering the welfare of a child. Here in Rockland, attempted murder is the top charge. Ramapo police continue to investigate, but say so far the evidence does not support charging this as a hate crime. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.